I never knew what rock bottom was until I hit it and continued digging. I endured debilitating anxiety, abuse, sleeping in my car, in and out of the court systems, and strained relationships with my friends and family, all as a result of grappling with addiction. Hi, my name is Leanne. I grew up in a really good Christian home, but I never really had an intimate relationship with Jesus. I went on to graduate high school and I went off to Grand Junction for college where I met my now ex-husband. After he graduated college, we moved home to Windsor, Colorado to start a family and get married. That's when my daughter was born. That day, my whole life completely changed. From there on out, all I cared about was family. Because of that, it caused my marriage to turn in a different direction. It became extremely toxic and volatile, and it did end in a divorce. Felt like I had completely failed my daughter and that she was going to be raised in two separate homes. I fell into a very deep, dark depression. I ended up meeting a man and the next two years of my life and my daughter's was an absolute whirlwind. We lived in complete extravagance, fancy dinners, expensive clothes. When I had my daughter, I was a mom. When my daughter was at her dad's, it was a complete party. There was alcohol everywhere and in abundance. It was when that relationship ended, I realized my body had become completely dependent on alcohol. I reached out for help and I sought treatment for the first time. And I thought that would be a 30-day quick fix and I would come back and life would be great. And that is not how addiction works. I continued living a very rough lifestyle for the next six years. I was in and out of very heavy binge drinking and blackouts, surrounding myself in situations that were not safe. I got into a relationship. I got into a relationship that I never would have gotten into had I been sober and mentally stable. I lost all of my dignity, and worst of all, I lost custody of my daughter. And even after that, in the loss of the relationship with my daughter, I could not get sober. So I found myself at my absolute rock bottom. It was February, negative four degree weather, and I was sleeping in my car and looking around at what I had done to my life and what an absolute mess it was. In that moment of absolute desperation, I screamed at the top of my lungs. I cried out to God and I begged and pleaded for Him to rescue me from this hell and I will stop doing it my way and I will start doing it your way. God started working miracles immediately. I found a faith-based treatment called Come As You Are. Not only did I get to Kaya and not experience a mental breakdown, but it was the absolute opposite. I immediately felt peace. I had found community. I did not notify the courts that I had left. My probation was revoked. I was facing a lot of jail time. The judge gave me the opportunity to speak. I closed my eyes, put my head down, and I prayed to the Holy Spirit. First, I took responsibility. Next, I shared with the judge that I had completely lost myself and my faith in the pit of addiction. I shared that at Kaya I had found community, sisters in Christ, that I had been set free, healed, and delivered from alcohol, prescription pills, debilitating anxiety, no self-worth. After a few minutes, the judge looked at me and he said, you found what the courts cannot offer. The judge handed down no jail time, no probation. I went back to Steamboat so that I could complete the program at Come As You Are. God continued working so many miracles that whole entire time. It was after graduation that God put on my heart Tender Loving Christ, a faith-based sober living for women. I watched so many women work so hard through this program and not have a safe home to go to. That's when I started praying to God of what it would look like to open Tender Loving Christ. And He started opening doors immediately. We have been so blessed now to open in Littleton, Colorado. What we are offering in this home 
as an opportunity to come into a home that is safe and then it is absolutely filled with love. And then the next thing is we do not need to continue living in shame and judgment so that when they leave this home, they are not dragging their past with them. They have an absolute fresh start like I was given. I truly don't think I would be alive today if Jesus hadn't transformed me. And I am so thankful that he did so that I could be a part of his bigger plan that he had for me.